Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be making a Mississippi comeback sauce. This is a great fry sauce, burger topper, vegetable dip, anything of this nature. It absolutely hits every taste bud you have. Sweet, salty, zesty, creamy, savory, a little spice kick to it, not too much. It's just, it's everything in one. I think you're going to love it because I know I do. So let's get started. So for this recipe, you're going to need one cup of mayo, two and a half tablespoons of chili sauce, two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, one and a half tablespoons of honey, a half a teaspoon of dry mustard, one tablespoon of EVOO, which is extra virgin olive oil, a half a teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of hot sauce. Now you just take all the ingredients and mix them together. To the mayo you'll add the chili sauce, the honey, lemon juice, hot sauce, I used Frank's, use what you like, Worcestershire sauce, the EVOO, the Cajun seasoning, the dry mustard, garlic powder, onion powder, sometimes you have to make it cooperate, and the paprika. Now you just need to mix it all together. Got a little bit of it on my finger. I'm not about to let it go to waste. Did I mention mix thoroughly by any chance? And that's what it's going to look like. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, some people can probably eat this stuff with a spoon, but not me. So let's make some hamburgers and hot dogs. Let's make some sautéed onions to go with it. And, of course, they all need seasoning. So the hamburgers are going to get this Mike's Country Rub, which is kind of a garlic forward rub. The onions are going to get the Chupacabra Special Blend. A little spicy, great stuff. And the fries? Let's not forget about these fries. They're going to get some Slap Your Mama. Great Cajun rub. Okay, and today we're going to be cooking on this Rectech Bullseye. It's a direct heat pellet grill. It does a really great job. I've got this 17-inch Lodge cast iron skillet. And it's going to cook the fries in that. I got it set for 400, which I find is a really good temperature on this grill. As you can see, it's browning very quickly. You just stir it every few minutes. Excuse my OCD here, but I'm actually just trying to get everything one layer so it browns really well on the cast iron. Okay. 
All right, those look great. Nice and brown and gonna be crispy. Okay, now I'm sauteing the onions. And like the fries, you just flip them around, get them in a single layer, and you keep doing that until it gets the color that you want. Oh yeah, those are looking good. I would call those done. Time to get them out. All right, now it's time for the main event, hamburgers and hot dogs. I'm getting hungry, I don't know about y'all. Looking good. Nice color on these hamburgers and hot dogs. This grill is great. I can't praise it enough. Wow, look at that one. Now what I'm doing here is pushing the burgers out into the outer ring of the grill because that's where it's hotter at. And the hot dogs I'm going to put kind of in the middle where the holes are not if you look below the grate, the deflector plate. And just like that, we are done. So let's get these off the grill and inside so we can enjoy. And there it is. Look at that beautiful burger and fries with the caramelized onions and the sauce. This comeback sauce is so good. Please give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. It's greatly appreciated. And as always, please, if you like my content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share with your friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.